Learning objectives include some more secretions of the innate immune response. Inflammation is swelling of the body tissues locally as a result of invasion or damage by the microorganism. Inflammation basically is a body's response in terms of redness, pain, swelling, and heat. In other words, inflammation can be categorized any swelling that meets these four criteria. How this inflammation occur is basically when there is a damage like this knife is penetrating the skin, it basically damages the cells locally and those cells, they start releasing various cytokines or chemicals like histamines, like kinins, prostaglandins and invite other cells of the immune system to the area. These histamine and kinin, they are vasodilators. So they locally produced by the local cells that are damaged but as a result, the nearby vessels become dilated. So the more blood can rush to the area and that is the reason we see swelling. And when more blood rushes to the area, there's a swelling, more cells come into the site, more secretions are poured into the site. But as a result of this swelling, there is a redness and there is a pain as well. Once those cells of the immune system also get there, they produce various cytokines. Mast cell is already there in the, in the tissue, in the connective tissue. This can also produce leukotrienes which attract to the site. TNF-alpha is a cytokine which is released by cells of the immune system like macrophages and it causes release of acute phase proteins from liver. These acute phase proteins, they have antimicrobial activity against the organisms. So this is part of the innate immunity we're talking about. Fever is another mechanism of uh, innate immunity. It results from pyrogen released from the organisms. As we see, uh, LPS is, is a part of gram-negative organisms, gram-negative bacteria. And as in return or in as a result of inflammation, IL-1 and TNF-alpha are released from various tissues. And IL-1 and TNF-alpha also, ca are causes, also cause fever. They're pyrogenic in nature. And, but what is the advantage of this fever to the body? When the temperature increases, uh, it basically increased temperature prevents the growth of the microorganism. It, it, it uh, discourages the growth of the microorganisms. This is an advantage to the body. And also, various metabolic activities are enhanced under increased temperature, increased body temperature. How this happens? These pyrogens basically control hypothalamus or regulate hypothalamus. Hypothalamus basically regulates body temperature. So pyrogen affects hypothalamus and hypothalamus then orders the body to raise the body temperature. And it is Inflammation, as we saw earlier, is a local response. Fever is a general systemic body response. Both are part of the innate immunity. Third component is a, as a group of more than 30 proteins. It's called complement system. Why it is called complement system? Because it complements the cells of the immune system in destroying microbes. And that is the reason it's called complement um, system. Again, it's a part of the innate immune system. What complement proteins do, they basically punch a hole in the microorganism. They attach to the surface of the microorganisms and create a hole. And through that hole, the internal contents of the cells are released. So the cell becomes lysed and is eliminated, is killed. Another protein is called interferons. They are antiviral proteins produced by macrophages, lymphocytes, and also fibroblasts. They interfere with viral replication. That is the, the reason they're called interferons. 
Interferons are very species specific. That means that the interferon produced by human is not effective in animals or vice versa. But interferon produced against one virus is effective against another. So they are not viral specific. They are species specific, not viral specific. And there are three types of interferons, alpha, beta, and gamma. Gamma is produced by lymphocytes. And in most chronic infections or cancers, we use as a treatment this gamma interferon. Another chemical or group of chemicals called antimicrobial peptides. These are small amino acid um, proteins consisting of 12 to 50 amino acid long proteins. And examples include defensins released by neutrophils, dermicidin made by sweat glands, and thrombocidins made by platelets. So in summary, we saw there are various secretions of the innate immune response or an innate immunity that discourages um, the growth of microorganisms.